Oh. Okay. Are you gonna are you gonna jump in the hornet? Well, if you're willing to help me once in a while, um, I'll jump in the eighteen. You wanna? I have a I have a co op campaign that's really good. If you want to try. So, oh, okay. All right. Um. All right, then I'll just jump. We'll just jump. We'll just hop in with that server. Sure. Sure, if you want to. Okay, let's see. Um, what's the server name again? Mm hmm. Bravo Alpha. <laughs> Wait, Bravo Alpha. I'll jump in the sixteenth. Once I find this. Yeah. Dynamic competencies. Yes, it did. Oh, are you are you you're Merlin, right? Oh yeah, that is. Ooh, Merlin. All the way down for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's all good. I actually like that kind of stuff. F10 menu, we got a bunch of soldiers that we need to kill in this one city. And bring some CBUs. Request rearming. Copy. Okay. Yeah, I was, gonna, I was gonna say with the 105s. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the one I'm looking at. You want 103s? The uh, infantry assault, wrongful epidemic. Yeah, I'm... rearming complete. Oh, yeah, okay. baby toilet. Okay. 
I'll bring C 105s too, I guess. It's going to make it rain. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, how was that? <clears throat> yeah. Learn anything? Hmm. Oh, yeah, probably not. Well, that's good. You got that out of the way. Dodge one, passing waypoint two at eight thousand. I'm gonna carry one tank or two. You see that in the briefing? Oh wait, I got, I got three, but I got, I got three point three one and I'm plus like seventy five. Oh yeah, so what did you do years again? Um, so you're bringing sea views, and what else are you going to bring? Yeah. Dodge one, passing waypoint three at 8,000. Mm. Carry rockets. Why not? You never get to use those. Get the heat, the H E A T ones. Get to get armor. Complete. 
Lodge 1, passing waypoint 5 at 6,000. Dodge 1, on station at Bullseye 148 for 110 at 6,000. Oh, oh, oh. What Dodge did I do? 1, pushing from waypoint 5 at 6,000. Oopsies. I was thinking we can maybe split either north and south bombs or we can do like east west whatever or if you have an idea all right you pick it Say that again. Which one do I add? M two A two. Where are you? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Right next to it. Uh, okay. Okay. See that. Attacks into you. Mm. Yeah, same. Any specific livery? Oh, hold on. The BDUs, I mean. Maybe. Take me one sec to get that on. I hate how that. I hate how it makes you go through all the thing again, all over again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain. I'm streaming, by the way, just so you know. Not on Discord. Okay. Don't switch. Fine. Uh, Hello, Twitch people. Hey, I don't even know if anyone's <laughs> on it at the minute. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be... Full Good. burner, full burner takeoff, and then uh, okay. once air, once airborne, power back to max dry to three fifty. Happy that. There's a lot of waypoints on the uh, HSD. And which waypoint are we going to again? Seven. seven. Steer point seven should be fifty one miles away. Yes, sir. And we'll go for uh, Angels 1 2. Copy that. Staggered interval of 5. Yeah. Are we taking off together or. or uh, or you can if you want. I was going to do staggered, then a five second interval. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll just do that. We're close. Cool. Go for it. Okay. Green, I'm ready when you are. Going. Rolling. Rolling.
gear and coming off the burner. Copy that. Two there, one. Passing 300. Do a left turn all the way around. Copy that. 30 degree. Five degree climb, 300 knots. Coming up to 350. Forget how light this thing is compared to the 18 on handling. <laughs> Easing back the power for uh, 350 knots. Looking good. Mm-hmm. You know it. Coming up to the uh, level, level in now. Two. We'll keep it at five degrees. Three hundred and fifty knots. Has this thing got an auto throttle? I've never looked. No, I. No, hmm. I wish. That'd be nice. Hmm. Well, I'm not even full dry to be honest. Doing three fifty at this climb, so. Yeah. Let's put. Uh, let's oh, you gotta skip. be kidding me! What's it? My lunch. My lunch just finished baking. Oh no! I'll get up to. I'll get up to altitude, and then I'll go get it out really quick. Yeah, Rog. Well, let's level out now. Angels ten. Okay. I'll bring the power back. Uh, altitude hold. Steer point hold and bring the power back for 350. Okay, uh, yeah, I might end up drifting. Yeah, I'll keep an eye. Okay, I'll be right back. Roger.
Okay. Mm -hmm. I uh, made sure I stayed in front of you, rather. Mm -hmm. I see you. Cool. We're at 3.50 now. Angel's 10. The, uh, there's a Reaper drone over the target. Um, doing JTAC mm -hmm. at uh, 10,800. Happy that. So just to watch out for that. Um, I'm fenced in. Same, just did. Are we fencing in now? And I've got the, uh, well, I'm on narrow zoom and, and plus nine zoom, and I can just about, well, I can see where the targets are going to be. I can't see clearly enough to find a target yet. Yeah, okay, I'm caught up to you. Rudge. Looking good. So I know you can release these in spread, but I never... So, that's on that, you see that one tri that triangle on the left of your, in your Smith page? Yeah, no, so yeah, I know you can do it. I just found that they never do what I want them to do anyway. They don't spread as far as I hope. Um... I'll just do one at a time, I think. You wanna go, uh, should we go higher? Uh, well, you sure. have to hear. Dodge two, airborne. Uh, I bet. did we see if there's any man pads there? Uh, no, I think it's all just vehicles. So it's triple A threat. Yeah, vehicle. I think I think we're good here. Okay. I am gonna drop back a little bit from you, so. Okay. You want to spread to the left? Yeah. Since you're taking those targets. Yeah. I feel like it's over a hill and it's currently blocking my view. So I'm looking at a building. Oh no, is it that whole complex? Yeah, it's uh, that whole little city uh, there. Yeah, I got it now. Okay, cool. That makes more sense now. I might actually find the targets. Yep, there's one. <laughs> I see the smoke. Yeah, so that's the one that the JTAC's currently giving us. I don't see any of the targets though. <laughs> I got some there. Is that a target? Yeah, I see a target. Okay, I think you I got see one. So, so let's see. How do I know? Oh, I got 27 to release. I'm taking it my targets are to the left of that smoke, maybe? Yeah, I think so. I'm 7 to release. Pickle. I want to go into a right hand, uh, actually no, I need a left hand really. I don't want to get in your way. Dodge one. Oh, you're there, I'll go right hand. Mine's about to split over target. Yeah, 
Yeah, mine's just split over target now. Good kill on about four target. Wait a minute, what the heck did I do? Oh, I nice? saw mine go boom, but I didn't see any of them spread anywhere. No. What are you dropping? 103s or 105s? I dropped 103s like an idiot. Because I thought we were, I was packing for the first one. Ah. Uh, so, and, I, and I had two more, I just saw my pack on the <laughs> That makes sense now. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. if you're dro dropping 105s, I should be uh, doing that thing. Yeah. Well, I'm Damn. coming. I'm coming back around for another group now. Group my uh, south group of mine. Okay, I'm gonna try to use my rockets, and obviously you have to go back and uh, get the right button. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I did. I did 103s. Oh my goodness. Can't oh no. You ever tried the uh, F18, sorry, F16D mod? Uh, no, I haven't. No. So I tried it, It's but the mm -hmm. only reason I wanted to try it was so you could, I could do um, dual cockpit. So it does work, but it's really, la it's really like, um, buggy. What, what cockpit you wanted to try? Dual cockpit, multi crew. Oh. Does multi crew oh. the mod? Oh, you talking about the Sufa? Yeah. The I. Yeah. Well, it includes the D. I was only getting it for oh, the okay. D. And you can put your CFTs and stuff on, but um. Oh shit! Sure I got hit. I just wasn't a fan. Oh god! Ah. Oh, I took out my tail. Ooh, sniper. Are they still shooting at you? You dead? Yeah, uh, no, I ejected. Ah. Where did that come? Ah. I got another one in the air. But yeah, uh, it's it, the super. I like it. it yeah, it's, it is it is buggy when it comes to like reloading and stuff. Yeah. I just got rid of it in the end because all it does is break compatibility, so you have to uninstall it for anything you want to do. Yeah. Um. I you I I uh, installed the OBGME, so it's really easy. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's what I do to like this this map. I've got the um the enhancement for the map mm -hmm. to make it look better, but it oh, doesn't. Really? Pa it yeah, it doesn't pass integrity check. So I have to um, disable it every time. Oh, that's says, a good. Um, that's a good bomb. Have you have you tried the this the um the uh, uh the F eighteen one? Yeah. No, super bad. Bomb. Yeah. No, I haven't got um, it. Right so I finally got it to work. Yeah. And um, I guess I think there's something going on internally with them because um. Well, the li half of them aren't are on leave, the support team, mm. and um, they were saying they took out the use. You can't use it in instant action or in missions. Only uh, you have to create your own mission. Right. Which really sucks. This is a bit useless mm. then. Yeah. Yeah. So I un uninstalled it after taking three hours to get it installed correctly. Oh, nice. Because every time I, I installed it, it gave me the A10, and then I find on their little Discord, there's a small little section saying people all but it's getting these mistakes like I was, and then they pin the the correct the Lua correction, but they just they just don't go fix it. Oh. I so don't. They, they need you to put it in yourself. Yeah. That's not helpful. Mm -mm. Thankfully, I know how to do that. 
and got it to work. But yeah, it like, and I saw from I saw the date where the where the developers posted it. I was like, mm-hmm. y'all couldn't just fix that yourself and just put it in. <laughs> I think you're dumb. But yeah, I guess that mod's going downhill now. Go. Yeah. Oh well. My favorite free mod is the A6, for sure. Community A6. Oh yeah, the Skyhawk? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is, like, amazing. It's good enough to be a real one. Yeah. Like, they would be able to sell that if they wanted to sell it. Mm-hmm. People would buy it. Absolutely. And then, yeah, everything worked? Yeah. Quite much. Mm-hmm. The only criticism I can give it, if I had to, is, um, I don't even think it's really criticism, but it rolls, like, on a dime. <laughs> I think the real thing had a stupid roll rate as well. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, because it's a it's dude, it rolls real good. Yeah. I can roll myself into conscious out of consciousness. Yeah, yeah. There is stability augmentation on it though. Oh, okay. I'm pretty hmm. sure. So you don't kill yourself by accident. Yeah. Oh, there's the tire. Oh, there we go. Right, where are... Let's see, there's got to be one there. Yeah, one there. One there. Funny, right. I... Some, I, Dodge two, I, uh... This other squadron I fly with, it's an R, it's the RAF. And, um... I was talking about the, the that mod with them, and some of them were like, Oh, man, I won't fly that. I was like, why not? They're like, yeah. um, I'm British. I'm just like, oh, come on. You're not talking about the Falklands, are we? Oh, and they're like, exactly. Yeah, I'm just like, come on. <laughs> I'm yeah. just like, I, I get it, but so? Yeah, I know. There are people. I mean, I, I guess I, I, yeah, I respect it, but I'm just like, it's just. I'm good. You're, you're, Amer- you're American, yeah? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. But I get it. America didn't want to get involved, did they? Yeah. I know, right? Actually, I'll be honest with you. I don't know too much about the Falcon War. So, yeah. Margaret Thatcher, the Prime Minister at the time, she did, uh... I think she did request assistance. But, um... You guys weren't looking to get involved at all. Well... I think because you're so close to Argentina. Um... The problem is, Argentina took the island by force. They invaded, effectively. Oh. It was a fairly peaceful invasion, because cause it wasn't expected. The island was defended by, like, 40 marines, and that was it. Okay. Because it's not, not something that was expected. Right. But it was a short war, and we... It's never happened again. I don't think it will. Yeah. Comes up now and then, like... But it's never going to go to a war again, I don't think. It's a political thing. They had a referendum down there to decide whether they wanted to be British or Argentinian. And it was unanimously British. Yeah, I would think so. Because it's, it's a British... Stability. It's a British territory. Like, it's never been... Mm-hmm. Well, for hundreds of years, it's been British. Mm-hmm. So no one who lives yeah. there is not British, really. <laughs> Let's see how this bomb does. Mm. Ten seconds. There it goes. I can't believe I loaded 103. One away. The laser's not automatic at all on the uh, 16, is it? No. Well, you have to trigger. Oh, yes. Yes, there is auto lasing. Yes, there is. Is there? Yeah. When does it come into effect? You can change that in the laser codes. Oh, how do I know if it's in... going to do it? I'm uh, doing it. I'm doing it myself at the minute. I yeah. So that's where I'm. I can tell you. I it. They added it 
re sometime recently. Right. Um, I have never tested it, but um, I can just tell you where it's at. Uh, oh, crap on a stick. I forgot that the... Um... Okay. Oh, it's still lazing. Why is it still lazing? Oh, I think it does it by default. I'll leave it this time, see if it does it. Although... I can't change the bomb codes once they're born, can I? Nope. That's annoying. I've just realised that the um, the JTAC's using 1688 and so am I. So they're not going for my laser, they're going straight for the JTAC's laser. Uh, uh. Dodge 2, passing waypoint 5 at 4,000. Mm. Dodge 2, on Let's station at bullseye 2, 8, 9, 4, 3, 5 at 4,000. Change my work. Dodge two, pushing from waypoint five at four thousand. Yeah, so in the laser code it says laser TGP code, then LST code, then underneath it says laser ST time. Oh, is and that on the menus on the list? Yeah. List zero five. Yep, then five. Then the uh, third one down is That's new. So how many is that ST time? I, I believe that's uh, when it starts, the eight seconds when it begins to lay automatically. After it's released. I, I, yeah, I guess that's where I don't, I'm not sure. Okay. I usually follow it in. Yeah. Because I'm a good old bull. So you know you get the countdown to zero, and then you get the circle appear, and then you get another countdown to zero. What's that? That's what I hate. I don't know, man. I think that's I don't know what that first one is. Pop up attack. It's a pop up attack and notification, I believe. Right. I it's, think it, it's annoying as hell. I'll be on, I'll be honest with you. Like, learn. I was having the hardest time with uh, laser guided bombs, right? Yeah. And it's because I thought that thing was my, you know, I thought the circle was like drop, 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 drop. So I was trying to fuck, or, you know, do that, and I could never drop my bombs, and I was getting so frustrated. And yeah, it's basic. It's you're not supposed. You're supposed to ignore that. <laughs> yeah. It's the second countdown that you care for. Yeah. There you go. <sighs> Got one in the air. All right. That's. I got two 105s left, and then uh, the rest will be yours. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know, I might, I don't, I actually do not know how to use the JTAG. Um, so you don't need to talk to him. Just use your laser spot track on one six eight eight to find the target he's currently lazing, but it's the one I'm just about to go for. So if you're about to go mm -hmm. for it, let me know. No, no, no! I just took off and I ah. forgot to fucking change my laser code. God damn it! <laughs> Yeah. Okay. 
Son of a bitch. Forgot to change my weapon. Oh, I just, how do I, con I contact the JTAG just through my comms menu, right? No, you don't even need to contact him. It's because okay. it's, it's not a person JTAC, it's literally just the drone lasing the target for you. Okay. So you, you want to just, as long as you've got um, your pod pointing towards the steer point, mm -hmm. when you're within 10 miles, just uh, laser spot track 1688, and you'll lock on to what the JTAC's telling you to, because they're already lasing. Laser, laser spot track is what keep in mind, or? Uh, It's like the same as cage on cage. Oh, okay. But, Obviously, you've got to have the TGP as soy. Yeah. Uh. Okay, I got one one oh five left. And of course. Restarting. I'm already waiting for my INS to be done and then I'll load up. Um, Roger. I, I was gonna change it and then I saw that I couldn't change it yet because I didn't load my weapons. I loaded my weapons and taxied off. <laughs> uh. No. Wah, wah, wah. Turning in with my last uh, 105. Copy that. I've got all my targets just about. Yeah. There it goes. That is me, Vin Winchester. I'll come join you. <laughs> Master arm to say, cat one, and we can throw everything off the jet. You got a data link on? Uh, yes. Were you sending me targets? No, no, just so I can see you. Okay. Without looking on my radar. What level you at? What do you mean? Uh, Angel. Oh, oh, no, I haven't taken off yet. Waiting for my <clears throat> the armament to be on there, and then <clears throat> oh no! <clears throat> Actually, no, put the laser code in now. Can you send laser. people targets on Data Link? Then? Yep. How? That's a good question. Um, List Data I've Link. Only been I've only been sent that, but um, 
I just know that the receiver goes hits the, their uh, mark points of seven on their IPP. Yeah. And uh, the HUD will say that uh, something data, and then they'll have a number. Like it usually says 500, 501. Okay. And that is that is a that's a we call it a target sent from another aircraft. And what you would do is you would in your mark points you would type in five zero zero or five zero one, five whatever the number tells you to. Yeah. And it will give you the uh, laser, the the lat long elevation okay. everything. We'll have to look at that. I've never done it. Me neither. I've just received it, and that's a good question. But I am not. I'm not an F-16 jockey, so I probably won't use it other than messing about. Mm -hmm. Dodge two, passing waypoint one okay. at four thousand five hundred. Hoping, hoping, hoping to make the mission next week on Sunday. Yeah. As long as, long as work doesn't mess me about. We shall see. Uh, the second, the second code, the LST code, that's for the JTAC. I don't have to change that, right? No. So the laser spot track is what you will look for as a someone else shining their laser. So okay. they they're using one six eight eight. So it's only if you change your weapons to your code. So if you're not using one six eight eight in your weapons, then mm -hmm. they will follow whatever code you've put on them. So you'll, you'll have yeah. to self you'll have to self laser. The JTAC won't be able to laser them on for you because they're using one six eight eight. But if you use one six eight eight, then um, you don't need to laser. It's already being lased by the JTAC. Oh, is that you? In blue. Okay. If you're blue. Yeah, that means we're on the same flight. So blue's the same flight. Green's friendly. What's white mean? That's unknown. No. What it means is it's a bogey. It's a... Ah, oh, that's, so that's probably civvy traffic. Uh... A non no, it, can be, it can be anything. It's just unidentified. Yeah. But it's yeah. been bugged. So it's unidentified. That's and a then, Yeah, cool. Uh, yellow means uh, it was unidentified marked um, that was tagged by a... Either the AWACS or another aircraft. Okay. And you know on the HST you've got the XMT and it's usually off. What is that? Yeah. That's your data link. That's to be able to send, transfer and receive data link information. So you can have a L16 which oh. is the data link or IDM. That, yeah, that's what you you want you want L, you want it on L16. If you have it if you have it off or I don't know what IDM what it does what IDM does. Yeah. But if you have it off, you won't be able to do what we were just talking about. Right. Data. So there's no harm in just leaving it on L16 the whole time then? Yeah, it is. Cool. You air button, you air on the ground, because I'm just yeah. coming in. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where are you? I'm just coming down onto the airfield, but I'll come join you. I've, uh, I've got 4.6 fuel. Oh, you can, you can, you can, you can land. Um, and if you're going to do another mission, I'll just follow you right after. I'll land and then come clear up. Whatever you don't manage, just finish. Oh, I've got vision on you, actually. Mm -hmm. See the red smoke out there still. Wait, was that red or no? Yeah. It was green. Oh, yeah, yeah no, I'm looking at different, another mission, I think. Uh, 0.7. What speed are you doing? I am doing 400. Right. Oh yeah, it's way out there. Yeah, it's 51 miles away. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see you. <laughs> you see all my CBUs? Yeah. Oh my god. It loaded me wrong again. I'm, I'm, I don't want to talk about it anymore. What have you got? 103s? No. Look. If you look at one side, I have... Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. I see. Uneven. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, my God. How do I do that? You have not on it today. Yeah. 
fucking hunt on it today again. I forgot how much smaller the F-16 is. I'm CBU'd up though. Yeah. <laughs> so I got two... I'm a... Two, uh... I got two 105s and six 97s. Yeah. Wait, 97s is... What I want. 97s are 105s without the guidance. Yeah. Gotcha. God damn it. <gasps> Do I see two aim nines on your wingtips? I got shame. one on each. Aim shame. Hey? Not supposed to. What? Supposed to be, they're supposed to be M rams for wing, wing flex. The it's the M M nines are too light, hence why they put the aim uh, the aim one twenties on the wingtip. Why? Wow, what does it do? Because oh, of the way the wing the wing is built, there's too much flex. Oh, okay. That's why they put the heavier one uh, twenties on the wingtip. Well, I mean, I did have bombs under me as well. I just don't currently have them. And it's an ugly look. No, oh, I love it. <laughs> Are you guys allowed to use a helmet mounted display or is that not invented yet? No, nope, not invented yet. It's really annoying because uh, it's lovely. Tell me about it. Do you guys use it in the 18? Nope. Not allowed. How's this look to you, uh, by the way? Very good. Bit of low. There you go. Nice. Perfect. Right, I'm gonna get You're right underneath my 120. I'm gonna get some weapons. Okay. Come on. Oh, beautiful. Got that in video. You pooped out of your. You poop flares. That's yeah, it. Is there a closer base? Uh, there should be. I don't Kumi. know if that one down there is friendly or not. It's just Kumi uh, or whatever it's, it's cool. called. Yeah, it's Kumi. blue. It is it's blue. blue. Yeah. Let's Get do that. Uh, SRS? Yeah, so I'm pressing them. Can you hear me on it? Yeah. Yeah, cool. For some reason, it's not coming up with the uh, the push to talk sound it usually does. Oh. Uh, what does yours, what sound does yours make? I've usually just got like, the transmit sound at least when it, like when it comes on, oh. click, click on, click oh, on. You, oh, yeah, there's different sounds you can put on it. Yeah. Right. The, there's like the Apache one is a like, yeah. So in the 18, like you've got you've got the two mids digital radios yeah. as well, which I learned how to use. Okay, I'm on the break. The mids, I love those. Yeah. Onzi break. I want to say on the 16, there's a way to do something like that. I think it has to do with this crad one and two button. Could be wrong though. I'd have to look that up. The plane ciphers. Hmm. Crad, crad one, plane, and crad. Oh, okay, so there is like. I think I don't know. Digital flight radios. No. So much faster yeah. in this thing to be on speed as well. Mm-hmm. Even when I'm like empty, I do find the fly-by-wire on the 16 is much more helpful than the 18, though. Yes. Listen. Yeah. No and, flaps. Uh, no flaps to worry about. No nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, I am doing my my base turn at 170 knots nearly, which is <laughs> fairly fast. It's not 135 knots. It's just a. Uh, 
Altitude. Altitude. Why are you warning me about altitude? I got my gear down. Shut up. Love you. I'll be better in a minute. Dodge three passing waypoint one at four thousand five hundred. Can I what? Yeah, I will. So final approach speed is gonna be like one sixty. See what? Final approach speed about 160, even empty. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or I may be a little fast. I like to come in and land around 170, 180. Mm. I'm just doing it on the on speed using the e bracket. Oh yeah. On empty. At least your brakes work on the 16 reasonably well. Yeah. Right. The arrow. Maybe the arrow brakes. The, the wheel brakes are okay. horrendous. Really? Yeah. Have you? They don't stop nothing. Have you uh, seen the wheel brakes on the 18? <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I guess they might just they might be just then. I like to. Uh, I well, I use a lot of aero braking. I I keep my nose up until yeah. I get to about 110. Oh, okay. And then when I bring the t when I bring the nose down, then it's under a by the time it's about a hundred under a hundred, and then Refueling. Just refuel him. Request Copy. rearming. Nice. Copy. Dodge three, passing waypoint two at nine thousand. There we go. Check. New target. Refueling complete. Dodge three, passing waypoint three at nine thousand. Waiting for my bombs.
It's only 20 miles away now. I'm coming in without a pod and I'm coming in with rockets and the um, CBU 97. Just gonna litter the place with crap. Can I get airborne from here? Is the question. Yeah, probably, maybe. Hmm. Do you find the nose always goes right on takeoff? Uh, a little bit when you have a when you have a pod on, yes. Ah, it's the pod doing that. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Altitude. Altitude. Check another target. Check another target. Nice. <laughs> oh, we're there in three minutes. And showing more. Oh, oh, it's done. Okay. Nice. On station at bullseye one. What can we go for then? Yeah, I still have uh, so uh, six CV ninety seven. Nice. Uh, step point two, Operation Yellow Stream. Okay. Copy step two. Oh, nice. Twelve miles from me. I like it. Mm -hmm. What's DTOS? DTOS is a uh, pop up. It's a like a toss bombing. Right. So yeah, like, like a pop up, pop up toss. Dodge, yeah. Pushing from waypoint five at four thousand. So something I'm probably never gonna use. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. It's, it's a very fun. Yes. It's not not very act. Not always act. Not really accurate. Right. You have to be in the perfect parameters for it to be accurate. Which isn't hard to do, but you know what all you do is when you get that pop up when you get the pop up notification you you pitch up um any uh pitch up like thirty uh something like twenty five or thirty five degrees and then yeah. you get within the two horizontal lines and any time within that the two horizontal lines, the min and max, you let go of the bombs. Right. I always forget it's really easy to use CCRP with any kind of bomb and just use the HUD. You don't have to use a TGP if you've got a smoke mm -hmm. trail on it. Mm-hmm. Let's do that. I'm going to drop them in... Oh, I'll drop them one at a time. First, so Dodge two passing waypoint four at seven thousand. Help if I put my master arm on, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> mm, definitely would help. Oh, 
probably should have fenced in properly because I'm so close. Um, so what do we have here? Hmm. No. A, few okay. other, a few other different things that are going to shoot you. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. Do they, have they ever used 105s in real life in combat? I do not have that answer. Because it's um, I would. They're a bit indiscriminate. Dodge two, passing waypoint five so I suspect they're not. I suspect they're against many different. Oh conventions. yeah. Oh yeah, it's against the Geneva Convention or something, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, because they're indiscriminate. You, they're not. Even though they're accurate, they'll still go for targets that you don't want them to go for. Yeah. And way. supposedly they're the, it's the biggest bomb in this game, besides that nuclear warhead. Oh wow. Split. Matt Wagner has a video up post saying the most devastating bomb in DCS and, it ha and it's the CBU 105. Yeah. Well it's just lethal. Because it's so easily mm. dropped in the vicinity of a target and you still get the target. But you end up getting mm. a lot of other stuff as well. Yeah. There you go, my first one's just exploding now. Oh, did its job. Yeah, I'm in the, I'm in cat three, go in. I love the Cat 1 and Cat 3 config. Yeah. People go like, oh, I never do Cat 3. I'm like, really? I find it to be fantastic when it comes to air to ground. As in the stores config? Yeah. Yeah, you have to be in Cat 3 if you've got wing loaded. Exactly. People go, well, oh, she's going to model uh, DCOs. Oh, she's just going to tear your wings off. <laughs> mm-hmm. Second one away. Come on, baby. I've got six of these and a few rockets. I'm just going for whatever. Why, is, why is my TGP stuck? Is it in laser spot track still? How do, I find, how do I know if it's still amazing? It's got track. Has it still got a little box in the middle? No. Okay, it's not, then you're fine. Well, I say fine, I don't know what's wrong with it. <laughs> Where is the target? There it is. Once I've expended and then landed, I'm probably gonna jump off. Yeah, I got you. Gotta to work tomorrow. Gotta to be up in about six hours. Mm. Another one away. Yeah, what the heck is it stuck? I don't think I even got what I wanted it to get properly.
You inbound to target yet? <clears throat> yeah, I just dropped them. Powered. Oh yeah, that's yours landing there, I think. Mm. Maybe. Oh wow, you dropped them all. Yeah, I couldn't use the TGP, couldn't move my TGP, so I just CCRP'd oh, no. them where I thought they were. <laughs> nice. I didn't hit anything. I got another one away. Gee. I've tried zeroing it, centering it. Cluster and then some rockets. Uh, which one's the new smoke? That one. This one. Crap, the engine just went all quiet. I thought I'd lost it. Mm. Nope, just straining it. <laughs> That way. Rock eight time. Where are you? Oh, I'm about to land at Scooby. Okay. On my final. Roger. Oh, where's the next smoke? There it is. I swear I got killed. Because I get too close when I'm rocketing. Hmm. Very shallow, this isn't gonna be great. In range, put a few off on it. Oh no, 14% no, damage. Well, that's disappointing. Mm. Let's try that again. I need to come more down on it, I think. Oh, it moved, is that alright? 
It's not on the smoke anymore. What we got left? Seven left. Fuel 6.1. me coming to land it's good can you eject the racks oh no it's on the f5 isn't it Is it? You can't eject the racks, can you? Yeah, you can. Um, you should. Or wait, depends on the rack. Yeah. Um, you should be able to. The ones with the wick mids, you should be able to eject those. Oh, yeah, they've gone. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Oh, where's the air base? Over there. Coming in. But, so, with the other ones, you should be able to as well. I think I'm looking at pylons rather than the racks. Mm. Uh, airfield, airfield, airfield. There. Inbound for the break. There it is. It's going to be loud. Whereabouts are you on the field? Mm hmm Oh, you just you just off the runway? Yeah. Cool. Altitude. 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 Oh, here's a question. So I was I was watching a video on English different English accents. Hmm. Where would you say? What accent do you have? Uh, oh mid shit, Midlands. Aim. Hold on. Some asshole just buzz the tower. Oh, that was you. Hey. <laughs> uh, uh, mid what? Mine's a Midlands accent. Uh, shit, that wasn't one of the options. Hmm. What are your options? Uh, shit, I'd have to bring up stuff. It was like there was an. Uh, fuck, I don't even know the names. There's, yeah, off the top of my head, the Essex. Yeah. Pardon? So mine's, mine's not a very strong accent because it's it's literally middle of the country. So it's not, okay. it's not overly London, it's not overly Wales or Scottish, Scottish or anything. It's okay. Pretty nothing accent. And there's like Brummy, then Cockney. Yeah. Um, okay. The hook works on this thing now, doesn't it? It's always worked. No, for, for ages, you, the hook wouldn't come down. Oh, really? I'm sure. Hmm. But recently, I, I checked it and it does. Every time I've done it, it's worked, but then it boots me up before I can land um. in whatever server I'm in. Ah. Final. I keep saying finals, it's final. Altitude. Keep doing it in uh, my normal day to day flying as well. Saying what? Final? Yeah, saying finals rather than final. It's not a plural. Singular. Oh, no, finals. Gotcha. On finals. <laughs> yeah, it's wrong. But loads of people do it in the uh, GA community. <clears throat> Oh, really? It's just a bad habit I've picked up. I think it's because of uh, 
people speaking like I can I I can has Chief Kriggers. Hmm. You know, all, people are they they're adding S's to everything to make it sound cute. Yeah. Dodge green passing waypoint one at six thousand. Don't be that guy. Just kidding. Okay, I'm gonna take off. You out of here? Yeah, I'm gonna jump in a sec. Well, thanks for flying, bro. That's fine. I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna get rid of my jet. I really wish more people would jump on. Yeah. I understand, you know, families and all that other stuff, but this guy. Oh, cool. Here I am going right by. <laughs> Oh, is it going to loop into the ground on it? Is that? Might, might pull out of it. I'm watching my dead jet. Oh no, it's oh. last bit. There it goes. Boom. Cool, right, I'll catch you later. Yeah, sounds good, buddy. Thanks okay. for flying. Yep. Mate.